Hi, this is Glenda. I've had a pretty non-crafty week this week, so I'm just sort of getting into it now. Um, there have been so many videos lately of people using these um, dies that go across like this and um, all the, the layering of dies and the insetting and it's completely escaped me what they call it now but anyway where you you end up with it flat because it's all die cut and then put back in and I don't have any of those dies so you can guess what I've done and I've made a scan and cut file or two I actually have two files for you this week um, and if you have any electronic cutter where you're able to get into it it's not just um, cartridges you can just take a simple shape like a butterfly, a heart, a star, um, birds, you name it and you just need the, sh the shape and you put an offset line inside it and you multiply it, you weld them together uh, you might have to lay the insides back over the top but it's not hard and um, I was really pleased because I wasn't sure if the electronic cutter would cope with it because when you die cut it tends to almost strengthen the paper because it pushes down on it and you end up with a if you haven't die cut it's hard to describe but it, I think it sort of strengthens it in the way it cuts it um, and I wasn't sure what the electronic cutter would do but I am really pleased that was my first attempt and I did make the lines too fine to work with happily but I've improved it so these two um, are both where I've cut it out of the coloured paper and I've cut it out of the black um, and then put it all back in together um, so you know I coloured I, I cut it all black but then I coloured in the butterflies in the middle and put them back in so that um, this one is just the, the back of the card showing through um, so I cut it in the uh, cut it out of the orange and threw away what was in the middle and joined back together with the black die cut in the middle. There's there's a lot of videos out there. People, all, everybody's doing this. Um, so those are like that. And these two, um, I've simply stuck the die cut back onto the card. I haven't cut the base card at all, and I've just cut it on and stuck the insides back in. In uh, after colouring them, this one I coloured the border. I, I cut it all out of one. Um, glitter sheet uh, and then coloured the border black and put it back together like that. So I hope that makes sense but really as I say there's so many videos out there that hopefully you've seen other people do this but my take on it was that I could use the electronic cutter and not buy yet another die and I can do it in multiple shapes. Um, you know you've got the advantage if I want longer hearts I can stretch it, I can make smaller hearts, you know because it's a file like that you can fiddle with it and get different looks with the same file. So I will attempt to put one together in front of you. Um, we'll see how we go. I don't want to smudge this that stays on and I've only just stamped it. It was just an afterthought to do a, a second file um, so what I've done, I have, this is my base card and I've put a piece of double sided adhesive on the front because I'll try to do the inlay for you. So I've cut my butterfly out of a background paper and some white paper and what I want from this is the background. I've gone very close to the edge there and it hasn't liked it very much see what we can do. Um, I might just snip this. Sorry. I, I wanted to take it off in front of you but um, and then I'm going to stick this one down onto my base card. So we'll do that. I think it'll be alright that this is going off. If not, it's an embellishment opportunity, as they say. So, take this off carefully. We'll try to. 
Okay, so now I've got a sticky sheet. And it will be very sticky, so I probably won't get two chances at getting this on. And it's useful to save your liner because then you can keep pushing this down as you go. So then <coughs> we don't need the outside of the white one, but we want the white outline. So we'll take that off next. I find it useful to leave all the little bits on the sheet. So we're going to put our liner in, our outline in. Just try not to push down too hard until you get it all lined up. So then if you wanted to, you could just put glitter on that, um, because it's all sticky. So what we want now are the bits that aren't butterflies to put back in from the background. And I'm sorry if I'm off screen a little bit here, but I just have run out of space. So I've just peeled this off. Um, so if we lift them up one by one and put them back in like a jigsaw. To do the ones where you're not piecing it all back um, is actually quite quick, but this is what everybody's doing. That's all the little background pieces. So we'll smooth that down again. So with the we don't need that piece. Uh, with the butterflies, what I want to do is colour the white ones. So if you leave them on the mat. You can see where they go back in a lot easier. So I'm just going to colour it on the mat. I'll try not to mark up my mat too much, but at the end of the day it gets a lot of marks on it anyway. So I just want to colour um, okay, so this big one. And I'll fast forward this bit for you. Okay, so hopefully I've got all those coloured. I'll just put them all back in. There they go. Do you have 
missed a tiny bit on there. In an effort to be quick, my colouring was less than um, precise. As they say, you could take more care than I did. <laughs> sure whether I'll cut this one off or just leave him hanging off the edge. And I may add a bit of Wink of Stella to all of these to give them a bit of a shine as well I think. Um, seems to be what I'm using today. Sorry, can't help picking at it now. Anyway, that's how you put the butterflies together if you're going to use the that inlaid technique. Um, as I say, this one is just the base card that you can see through it. This one's stuck on the base card. These two are done with that method, and that one's stuck on the base card. So hopefully that's given you food for thought if you've got an electronic cutter. Um, and. Uh, yeah, if you haven't got one at all and you like electronics at all, put it on your wish list. Um, and that's what I've got for this week. Thank you for watching. <laughs>